all right friends let's start our video so we are covering concise physics chapter number five refraction through lenses and we have already covered 5.1 lenses and 5.2 action of lenses as a set of a prism now in today's video we are going to cover technical terms related to a lenses okay so let's get started let me write the chapter name first this is chapter 5 refraction through a lens and we are going to cover 5.3 which is what which is technical terms related to a lens the first technical term we are going to see which is center of curvature okay so friends i am going to explain this in a very simple term so just focus okay let's say this is our lens okay now try to understand if this is a lens okay so i'm talking about here convex lens so just think this lens is made up of what or how this lens is being made so if i just increase this uh, length it will be looks like a sphere or if i increase the length of this part then definitely is going to be look like a sphere okay so this is if you see these lenses are made up of some kind of a sphere okay now this sphere must be have some central point so this is my one of the center this is my one of the center okay now for this lens okay there must be some center also if i say if i join these three centers okay so the center of this circle which we called let's say c1 and center of this circle this we called as in c2 so these c1 and c2 are what we called as center of curvature of two surfaces let's say this is surface number 1 and this is surface number 2 of the lens so this is one of the lens this is one of the lens and these two surfaces this one and this one so this, if if i'm considering this as number 1 so this part is coming this part only is coming from what from this circle what we called uh, this is fair what we called as a c2 so here we can say c1 and c2 are what are center of curvature is as simple okay so basically the lenses are being made of some kind of a sphere and the center of those sphere where we can say c1 and c2 in this case are respective center of curvature of two surfaces this one and this two of the lenses let me just write this definition as well so that will definitely going to help you so here we can see the center of the sphere whose part okay center of the sphere whose part this one okay whose part is the lens surface is called the center of curvature simple of what of the of that surface of the lens fine now how it looks like or how we are making a 
concave lens so again it's very simple let's say this is something what we called as a concave lens all right now just imagine how this concave lens are being made let me try to make it in different color so there must be some kind of a sphere like this and there must be some another kind of a sphere something like this friend these are circle okay so don't get confused now again there must be some center of the circle there must be some center of the circle and if i join these two centers this is what we called as a C1 and this is what we called as a C2 and this is the what C1 and C2 are the center of curvatures of these two surfaces all right so this is what we covered as a part of center of curvatures clear it's very simple okay just imagine how these lenses are being made this is made up of some kind of a sphere and then things will be very easy to understand all right so let's cover our next topic which is what which is radius of curvature radius of curvature what is radius of curvature again let me just draw quickly to circles okay now here you need to understand one thing there must be some radius of this sphere okay so if i say this is in case of a p1 and uh, sorry p in case of what this is my convex lens okay so again this is my this is this is center of this lens which we called as an uh, optic center and this is my c1 and this is my c2 so the radius of a sphere okay let me just write so the radius of the sphere is what whose part this sphere whose part is the lens surface okay so there are many radius okay so there must be this radius also there must be some this radius so there are so many radius but i am talking about this radius only whose part is see whose part is lens surface so this part is my lens surface this part is my lens surface so i'm talking about only p point is called what radius of curvature of what of that surface so this is one radius of curvature and this is another radius of curvature this is radius of curvature of this lens so radius of curvature of that surface of the lens all right so based on these two we can say what pc1 is equal to pc2 okay so these are two let's say this is my one lens and this is my two lens so pc1 is equal to pc2 now let's imagine these lenses are very thin okay so let's say if this is one lens and this is very thin lens so just imagine there must be very less difference if if i say this is my c2 if i say this is my c1 between this and this because this is very minute i'm talking about this is my thin lens okay so in that case thin uh, okay thin lens of convex lens this is very thin lens of convex lens okay so in that case okay so this is again my p and uh, this is let's say this point this point i'm i'm saying this is my o 
so based on thin lens condition we can say pc1 this one is equal to this one which is what oc1 okay and we can also say pc2 is equal to oc2 okay because this is very thin lens the lens is made up of very thin glass so this is another condition pc1 is equal to oc1 and pc2 is equal to oc2 now let's see how it behaves when we are talking about concave lens in case of a concave lens okay so concave lens are made up of some lenses like this all right so this is my concave lens this is my what this is my c1 this is my c2 this is my lens 1 this is my lens 2 and in this case if i am seeing the radius of curvature is what here is this is p1 and in this case is p2 this is p1 and p2 so based on the discussion what we have radius of curvature will be p1 c1 and p2 c2 so this is why p1 c1 is one of the radius of curvature and p2 c2 are another radius of curvature let me just write r o c okay now what happened in case of a thin glass so thin glass will be what thin glass will be like this okay so in this case this is one this is c1 this is again i am saying this is let's say o this is c2 so this is one of the concave lens and this is my thin lens so in this case the radius of let's say from here to here will be equal to here to here so this is let's say my p1 this is p2 so based on this condition we can say p1 c1 is equal to o c1 and p2 c2 is equal to o c2 because we are talking about very thin lens this is very thin that almost the radius if i'm talking about from this to this or this to this are same so this is a condition where we are saying we are talking about what equiconvex equiconvex or equi concave lenses so the radius of curvature of both the surfaces are equal so in that case we can say oc1 is equal to oc2 right so this is the lens where we are covering the thin cases but the one what we have shown you this one and uh, the earlier one uh, this one this is not a thin lens uh, thin lens so this is uh, uh, i said this is what this is non equi concave lens and this is you can say this is a equi -con concave lens right so this is about radius of curvature now next topic is principal axis okay principal axis so again if i draw convex lens quickly so this is the center of uh, the convex lens is fair 
for which it's been made okay and similarly if I draw concave lens so in that case this is what this is convex lens this is concave lens this part so if I'm talking about this line okay C1 which which is meeting C1 and C2 this is line is what we call as a principal axis so the definition will be it is the line joining the center of curvature of the two surfaces of the lens so that's the definition right so here we already saw the line c1 c2 is the principal axis and it can be extended on either side all right so this is all about principal axis